This quick video will give you a quick overview of what a Blackboard course may look like. Um, it's important to note that every course may not look the same as different colleges and departments have their own uh, templates that they use, which may include banners that say, for example, Rankins College of Business. Um, so we'll just look through this uh, example course at different types of structures and what the different assignments look like when they've been um, deployed in the course. So you should generally see something that says faculty information or faculty contact information or course information. And that's where you're going to find out how you need to contact your faculty member, whether that's through email or phone or through tools like Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, this is just an example, so you, you don't actually see a faculty member's contact information there. You may also find your course syllabus and schedule. Uh, sometimes these documents are combined, and that's okay too. They'll be listed. Uh, some faculty members will include these on the course menu so they're easier to find and access. You're also going to look for something that says My Grades, and this is where you'll find the grades for this particular course that you're working in. If you want to see all of your grades, or quickly access grades from another course, you go to the top right corner of your screen where your name is located and you'll click that and this opens the global navigation menu where you'll be able to check for announcements and grades and jump to other courses. <clears throat> so now let's talk about how uh, you may see content in your courses. Some faculty members you'll, will uh, use language like units or weeks or modules um, or maybe even chapters. Um, so look for language like that, and that's usually where you're going to find uh, the different pieces of content. That may be YouTube videos, PowerPoints they want you to review. Um, so let's take a look at what assignments typically look like. So let's take a look at how the different types of assignments look in Blackboard. This first one is a Blackboard discussion. Um, this may not necessarily appear in your course. I've just put that here so it's easier to identify. And this icon will always be associated with discussions. The next item down is a, a midterm. That's built using a test tool. And this icon will be visible for any test or quiz that you take in Blackboard. VoiceThread's another common tool uh, that may be used for discussions or presentations or lectures. Uh, but this VT icon is what you'll look for to kind of identify that. If your faculty member has an assignment, um, this is what it's going to look like, th this uh, paper icon. And assignments are typically, typically going to be used for submitting Word files or PDFs of your written work. Um, although you can submit other files that may not necessarily open in Blackboard. And that'll be for you and your faculty member to coordinate. So if you're in a course that uses a specialized um, software, those kinds of files can be exchanged through Blackboard, but they have to be opened in their software. And then finally, uh, these last two, this is a, an uh, assignment like this rough draft, but it has SafeAssign enabled. And what SafeAssign is, it, it's a plagiarism detection tool, uh, the same as Turnitin. They both detect plagiarism. Um, Turnitin is a, it's separate from Blackboard, but it functions in the same way. So if you see SafeAssign or Turnitin, don't be alarmed. That's just a, um, it's just Blackboard looking to see if you've copied text off the internet or submissions from other students. Um, so these are some of the common assignments that you'll see in, or activities that you'll see in Blackboard. There are also blogs and journals and wikis and other kinds of things, um, but those are more specialized. And you, your faculty member will probably talk to you about that um, if they're going to use it. You also may see different tools linked on your course menu. So for example, we have discussions. It's just a quick way to get to the overall discussion board where you'll see the different available discussions. To access it, you just click the title, which is also a link. Blackboard collaborates another tool that's a web conferencing tool. That allows you to meet online using chat, uh, audio, or video with your faculty member or other students. So if you have group work, you can uh, ask your faculty member to set up a collaborate session for you all to meet in. Most courses will have a Miguel Library link. Uh, this is also available from the My SAU Blackboard homepage up here. Same, resource, 
same resources are available there. Um, so feel free to explore and you can also contact the library staff for some assistance. The technical support area has information about many of the softwares you may encounter in Blackboard, but there's two modules that I want to point out in particular, and that's Blackboard support and the IT services box. If you have any non-Blackboard related issues, you're going to want to contact IT services through the help desk or through the website. If you have any issue with Blackboard, we have a 24-hour support. You can submit a ticket um, with this service, or you can call and chat with them between 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. This is the link to that. And below you'll find different links, so if you need to check your web browser to make sure it's up-to-date and compatible, if you want to watch some Blackboard video tutorials, which you also have access to a course now called Getting to Know Blackboard, and then finally you have Blackboard uh, FAQ or Frequently Asked Questions and Quick Start Guides. These are going to be uh, links to kind of walk you through particular tasks. Um, finally, the, the last thing I'll just kind of look over is Respondus and ProctorU are two proctoring services we have on campus. Um, your faculty member will let you know if you're going to be using either of those. And uh, there's a link in each box to request support. And finally, if you need help with Microsoft Office or installing the campus version, this box and this link will take you to IT services information for that. And finally, uh, university policies and learner support. This will give you quick access to different areas of the campus. Um, if you have accessibility concerns, please uh, contact the disability support uh, if you have accessibility concerns, please contact the Office of Disability Support Services. Um, or you can also contact your faculty member and ask them to um, reach out to the Online Learning Office to help um, make the adjustments needed to accommodate your needs. Anyway, we also have university policies. This will kind of cover things like academic dishonesty and integrity. Um, use these as needed. They're also available online. If you need to reach out to admissions or counseling services or anything like that, these are quick links to those uh, resources. And you'll also see the University Writing Center's information here, tutoring services uh, if you're a veteran. Uh, so feel free to explore these. They'll link directly to the SAU website. So if you haven't spent much time on the website, this will kind of help you with that process. Um, so this is a just a quick look at what a course may look like in Blackboard. There will be other videos to walk you through how to submit uh, various assignments. If you have any questions, just make sure you reach out through our 24-7 support or by emailing onlinelearning at sau.mag.edu.